This massive cinema zoom lens is so big it needs its own carrying case. This vintage zoom lens is smaller than my hand. I'm going to compare both of them and see if they can create the same images. This is a 7 Artisans 24-96mm T2.9. A new budget-friendly cinema zoom lens that is parfocal. So what is a parfocal lens? Varifocal lenses were designed for photography. They change focus when zooming in or out, making continuous refocusing necessary. When you use a varifocal lens, you have to zoom in on the subject, frame your shot, focus, and then press the shutter. Varifocal lenses are great for photography, but they were not designed for cinema or video. With a parfocal lens, focus can be set once at any focal length and it will remain consistent when zooming in or out, allowing for seamless focus transitions during filming. For television, video or cinema, we want to be able to actually keep the focus for dramatic effect or to reveal different subjects during a scene. The problem with parfocal lenses is that they are very expensive. If you are looking for a budget cinema zoom lens, it's going to be very difficult as Ari, Canon or Zeiss lenses are way too expensive to be considered budget. And vintage cinema zoom lenses are very rare and expensive. One last hope is to use vintage photography zooms that look parfocal, like this Canon FD lens. This cheap vintage lens is famous for looking parfocal. After spending some time testing it, I was very impressed with the consistent look of the focus while zooming. But this will only work if you close the aperture to f8. If you use the lens wide open, you will lose the focus every time you zoom in or out. It may look okay to the naked eye, but when you check the footage, you can see that the focus is bad on the widest focal. So even if this vintage lens has a lot of potential, it's far from perfect. If you want to keep your focus wide open, this new budget cinema zoom lens has something fantastic at the back of the lens. An extra ring that will help you fine tune your focus so it remains consistent when zooming in or out, even wide open. This means you can keep focus on distant elements. but also come closer and get a real bokeh behind the subject as the 7 Artisans is faster than most cine zoom lenses. A 4x zoom is quite ambitious for a cine zoom. Usually other brands stop around 2x zoom, so it makes sense that the lens is heavy because of more internal parts. The lens is designed for Super 45 sensors, but can be used on a full-frame camera with just a little crop at 24. The lens comes with two adapters, a 1.5x adapter that turns the lens into a full-frame 36-144mm, and a PL converter to the mount of your Cine camera. In my case, it was for E-mount. So, 
Can a vintage lens outperform a modern cine zoom lens? The answer is no. The Seven Artisans is way more expensive than a very focal photo zoom, but much cheaper than a normal cine zoom. This massive cine lens opens a lot of new possibilities for independent filmmakers. Of course, there are some cheaper do-it-yourself options, but they have some limitations. As these lenses are very focal, with slower aperture, smaller zoom ranges, and without cine bodies. This is a movie-making lens. It's not made to take on a hike or do handheld footage. And I would only use it for very specific projects as I am not a big fan of super heavy gear. But having the option to get a real parfocal cinema lens for this budget is really impressive.